Hello and welcome. My name's Kathy A and today I'm going to do my faves and flops of makeup from the month of May. Now there was a lot of purchases done this month and I was trying a lot of things. Uh, I was reading magazines, um, Oprah and Good Housekeeping and they had their favorite makeup and beauty products. Um, so I had to kind of try some of those things out and there were some surprises in the group. So let's begin. For concealers, I actually tried this one this month and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. This is the Fit Me Concealer, which um, I don't know how I avoided this before. This works really well and I think um, a lot of this is, I think the skincare I've been using this past month has really helped my skin be able to take products that maybe in the past I couldn't have. So the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer I really like this, it worked out quite well. For foundations, there were a couple. I, I do wanna bring this up again. I brought it up last month and I'm still loving this. This is the um, Outdoor Girl or OG. You can find this in the Pound Store in the UK. You can also find this in uh, Ocean State Job Lot and you can find it online. This is like the best BB cream foundation type of thing I have tried this year. I mean, it's outstanding and it's $2.50 in Ocean State Job Lot. So this is a great, great deal. I had been told um, from several YouTubers that this was an interesting and great foundation to try. It's a stick foundation from Makeup Revolution and F7 is the color I got and it is uh, very very kind of orangey warm it went on very greasy and because I have dry skin I don't necessarily mind that um, because I can powder down anything that's too shiny glowy but this actually didn't really absorb in well and it was a little bit on the patchy greasy side and it wore off very quickly uh, by lunchtime at work, I had lots of patches of skin showing through. Um, I don't know why everybody's liking this because I don't like it at all. I don't think it's anything like the Hourglass um, foundation that it's trying to mimic. So the uh, Makeup Revolution Stick foundation did not work for me and I have dry skin so you would think I would like this kind of greasier uh, consistency but I didn't. It was, it was not good. So. So if you're going into Kohl's at all, you may want to check out the makeup in Kohl's because they have some brands that they don't carry in other stores. And one of them is Cargo. Uh, Cargo is out of Canada. And I, I really am loving this. This is just a basic foundation. It's, it looks like kind of something you'd put your vodka in, but <laughs> this is their foundation. Um, I'm not sure what color I got. What color did I get? So the color I got is C20, and it is a beautiful uh, medium, slightly warm tone foundation. You don't need much, a little goes a long way. There's good medium coverage here. It dries down very natural looking. It's not too glowy, it's not too dry. I think this is good for most skin types. I can't imagine anybody who couldn't wear this. So I think it's beautiful. It is a little on the warm side, but I tend to like that. And that is the C20, which is the second in line in the uh, foundation list. So that's from Cargo, and I'm, I'm loving Cargo. Um, one of the things that I love from them, especially and any time I go into any Kohl's in a new town, I always check to see if they have the first order mascara because this is my favorite mascara and I'm hoping that they bring it out in a permanent line, calling it something else of course because the Star Wars thing is over, but um, well, actually we're going to go see Solo um, today. I think we're going to go see Solo. Anyway, the foundation was a hit. I really like it. I think it's, it's really cute. Uh, they base their packaging on traveling and um, packaging things for shipping. So that was definitely uh, an interesting <laughs> thing. So that's the Cargo Foundation. Definitely a thumbs up from me. And this is the Ipkin or Ipkin. 
It's a Korean um, BB cream, and as you know, Korea is kind of where we're looking to nowadays for skincare and um, skincare benefits and makeup. I mean, they are really like leading the world with their research. Um, they are using formulations, using ancient herbs, using things out of the sea, um, snail goo, happy, happy snail goo. <laughs> And, and other kind of ingredients that the rest of the world has not used. And I think that's why everybody's turning to them rather than France or America uh, for skin care, you know, formulations and things. And this particular BB cream is supposed to be really good for you. I have it on now and I really like it. I think it's a very natural looking um, finish, slightly glowy. Um, I didn't powder it down because I wanted you to see what it looks like on its own. There is a little blush here, but um, it, it just makes you look healthy. It's really, really nice. So it is $38, though, and I thought that was a little high for a BB cream, but um, that I got from Ulta, and I did like it. I have the second shade, I believe. I got the light. It is slightly light. I would have liked something a little bit more towards medium, but... Um, you know, you can work it with your with your other makeup devices, you know, so. Yeah, Ipkin or Ipkin. I don't know how they say it, and I think that's a picture of Seoul or New York. Yeah, New York is on the cover. This is the um, LA Girl Pro Contour Powder, and I don't use the light shade in here. It doesn't do anything for me, but this this shade is not bad at all. It, there's your There's your gray. You know, it, it's, um, let's see if I can, see you've got a little bit of a gray tone there. It does sheer out on the ends. I'm going to have eight contours here on the side of my face. But this was only a couple of dollars in Family Dollar Store. So I think that this was, was really nice, and that's the um, Pro Contour Powder. So I thought that was actually better than the Wonder Stick. For contour. Um, I wanted to try cream contour and so I bought this and I, I think I talked about it in a recent video I was doing a full face or something but this was the True Blend from CoverGirl and this is their old packaging. They have new they have a new um, packaging now. I, have you seen this? It's just just black and white letters it's completely see this is the old font that they used and now they've got this new kind of blend the ordinary um, black and white it reminds me of plain wrap remember plain wrap stuff when it came out <laughs> just I don't know the branding is is uh, I don't know maybe to them they think that you know this was two 1970s maybe I don't know but anyway, the True Blend Cream Contour and uh, Bronzing. Um, I was enjoying the bronzing a little bit, but uh, the contour, again, like the other kind, like the Wonder Stick, the contour kind of uh, wears out throughout the day. Although it initially goes on really nice, it disappears uh, by midday, and then this doesn't do anything at all, this light shade. so. Uh, this was kind of a fail, um, yeah, it was kind of a fail. And this is um, Lipstick Queen, and it's a blush. And as you know, they had they're famous for their lipsticks that have um, a weird color, and then when you put them on, it's a different color. Well, this is the blush, <laughs> but this is the blush. When it goes on, it's a pretty, pretty pink. Who doesn't want a green blush? This is why it's probably in TJ Maxx, because it's green and nobody bought it. I'm wearing it now and I really like it. I think it's very, very pretty. And it immediately turns pink. I mean, you, you know exactly where you're at with it. There's no green here. And I just think it's really clever. So I'm keeping it in the collection. I think it's cute. and I, The packaging is really cute too. You know, that frog prince thing. I bought this because I've seen people talk about this. This is the Ofra, um, this is a blush palette. 
blush and bronzer in terracotta is the color scheme here. And I thought that it would be good for travel because you've got four different colors. You've got kind of a um, contour, a highlight, a blush, and then sort of a shimmery kind of highlight bronzer type of thing. So I thought, well, this would be great, but this blush is, it's very gritty, but it's very strong, and it does not sheer out well. I had a hard time making this blush look nice. Um, the, the contour is a little bit on the warm side, and um, it did work, but you have to use a very skinny, skinny brush to get in there. And I think that's the, the biggest flaw with something like this, is it's hard to get a brush in to, to work it. I mean, you can, this is a, a Real Techniques brush, but you can do it like that with it if you want. But um, I didn't think it lasted too well, but I didn't like, the pigmentation was a little too strong for me, and it's usually people like pigmentation. I didn't like, I thought it was just too strong a color scheme, and maybe it was just too strong for me. But maybe somebody with darker skin would love this. But I had the difficulty getting the brushes in, and I think when you're working with face products, you tend to use, you know, brush this size. You, you've got to really, like, figure out how to squish it or something so that it goes into the right stripe. So this was kind of a fail, although um, for somebody, they may like this. In Family Dollar, they have a brand called BYS or Bees or Buys. <laughs> this was designed and created in Australia, and then they had sent it to China for manufacture, and then China sent it to France for distribution, and it wound up in Family Dollar here in the U.S. Um, I like this. This is a blush palette. They had eye palettes. They had um, lipsticks. I have something else from them. Yeah, I have something else from them. This is from them as well. And um, the blush palette was really nice. And it was like, I don't know, three or four dollars. Uh, they're cream blushes. The red one here looks a little more pinky. Um, I think the only one I didn't like was this kind of yellowy orange one. This was the only one that didn't look attractive on, but the other three were great. I mean, for like four or five dollars, that was pretty good for a, a fast little buy. So also from them, this is the Peach Palette, and this was eight dollars in Family Dollar Store. It has a mirror on one side, and then you have your, um, it has two different sticks in it. Uh, neither one of them would I use for anything, I don't think. Maybe this for a liner or smudger. Um, but the colors are quite nice, uh, these, these warm tones. This is very much imitating a lot of these warmer palettes that you see in Sephora. Now, as far as the shades go, um, there's only um, like three mattes in here. This, this uh, kind of creamy paint, this creamy one, which I think is an excellent um, lid shade. It was, I mean, it has amazing pigmentation and... Um, it lasts really well. Um, then there's this kind of um, muted kind of pinky color, pinky coral, and then this kind of brown which works really nicely as a crease color. You can put it right up in the crease there. I'll just balance out with my um, everything else it's got kind of a shimmer to it. But it's actually quite a nice palette. For $8, you've got some fun colors that you can accentuate and add to other palettes. You know, if you happen to have a palette that doesn't have a good lid color, you can use the lid color from here or whatever. Um, a color like this or this seem to look really nice under the eye. I like using like a shimmery taupe uh, under the eye. I think it really adds a little bit of sparkle without adding that dark line. So I, I was impressed with this, and this is the BYS eyeshadow palette in peach. And I believe they had another one as well. I may try the other one. Kat Von D. She is celebrating 10 years because in 2008 she started her makeup line. And she's a very talented artist. Um, she does tattooing, and that's how she became famous. She was on TV for a while. Her tattoo shop was shown 
um, in, a, in a TV show, like a reality TV show, and she became famous from that. But she's an extremely detailed and talented artist. Um, and she's celebrating with this several different products. She has a train case, she has a lipstick, she has uh, highlighters, I think, and then she has this. Uh, eyeshadow palette. It had sold out originally when it first came out and it, it did come back so it is back on both her site and on Sephora. Um, this is just a stunning piece of artwork. I mean this is just... I really like her and I know she's very edgy and you know different rumors have spread about her because I think more because of the men she has been attracted to than anything else. She's you know kinda yeah, you know, that bad boy thing. <laughs> anyway, look at this palette. You've got a mirror here. I'm going to keep it down so you don't get blinded. But look at these beautiful colors. I'm just going to bring it up close so you can see them. Isn't that beautiful? I'm loving it. Um, now, I have the blue on, you know, the corner V here. There's some really unusual shades. They've got a really nice, this is a duo chrome. I don't know if you can see it, how it turns color when you when you turn it, but um, she did some really interesting and unique colors. What I found though is that the base shade, talk about not having a really good lid shade, she's got a very light base shade and I like something that's slightly more um, ivory color than this. Um, and then for transition, she's got a great shade, but there's not really a good like crease shade. So I mix this one and this one together, and between the two of them, it makes a nice uh, crease shade. And then I use this in the corner, and there's my base eye, and then I screw around with the colors. This blue is outstanding. <laughs> this blue is just beautiful. Let me just swatch it. Uh, Yeah, and I know some of you are like, what are you doing with the blue eyeshadow? But blue eyeshadow is pretty hip as far as I'm concerned, and I think this this turquoise, look at that. Oh. Just as a little accent, not as a major eye color, but as a little accent, some of these colors are wonderful. I'm loving this kind of mossy green color. It's like an olive to moss green, and then there's uh, this is kind of a dark turquoise. Uh, this is a little bit more muted, so you can use that like almost as a liner as well. Um, this purple is my favorite in the palette, this purple color. Let me just show you that. It's just so pretty. And it catches the light, you know, it's just a very, very pretty, actually it would go with this outfit, wouldn't it? Let me just put it right here. <laughs> Those of you who know me know I love to use my fingers. I was just watching um, Susie QB and she was just doing something with her fingers too. And I was cracking up because she, she uses her fingers to uh, spread out eyeshadow sometimes. Um, yeah, this has got some really interesting colors. The only one I don't really care for the mustard or this orange. The gold is very, very pretty and very, very um, pigmented. Just a dot in the center of each lid will give you a little bit of sparkle and fun. Um, yeah, and then this light kind of pinky, uh, peachy, light peach color right up in the corner there of the, of the brow, right up in the arch of the brow. I think if she had had one shade in between this one and this one, I would have been really happy with this palette and it would have been my favorite, but I like to have an inclusive palette that has a basic eye in it and then it has a bunch of fun colors. So I think it's a great palette. The quality's outstanding. Some of them feel different than others. I think it's because some of them are shimmery or glittery and others are, are flat matte, but the mattes are, are excellent. Um, the shades are listed on the back. It's easier to tell with this though because you've got the colors with them and that makes a big difference. But the artwork on the packaging, it's definitely a keeper for me. I'm really loving it. So good for you, Kat. I think you did a good job with this. I bought this and I, you know, 
I'm just not a BH Cosmetics fan, let's just face it. I can't handle them. I just think they're cheap. It's just cheap. But I wanted to have, because I have a Viseart All Matte Palette, I figured all I could do is use that and something with shimmers in it. And I was looking for something that would just be all shimmers and fun, bright colors. So this is the Supernova Palette from BH Cosmetics. There is a mirror in there. Look at these, these pretty colors. And I'll bring it up closer here. Some of them are nice, but there's really not a lot of pigmentation here, so they're very disappointing. I think that, um, yeah, it takes several goes, and you have to foil your uh, brush, you know, which basically means you're wetting your brush like you would spray the brush with a little of this and then stick it in there, and then when you tap it onto your lid, they call it foiling, but it's basically wetting your brush before it goes in, and then when it puts the product on, it's uh, it's a stronger pigmentation. See, even with the foiling, it's taking like three or four goes to get this to come out. So I, I do like the colors in the palette, but I think the pigmentation really wasn't that great. Um, and I like the idea that it was, you know, all shimmers that you could use to complement your eye look. But this one definitely was a fail for me. And TJ Maxx, they have the Rock the Croc from um, Your Best Friend. Um, YBF or whatever it is. This was $6.99 for Rock the Croc. I thought the packaging was just stinking cute. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, Kristen Gem would say. The case itself is like, it looks like an alligator skin. It's cardboard, but it looks like alligator skin. It's really cute. Again, we have these colors that um, I haven't even taken the, the plastic off the mirror yet because I'm probably going to give this away. Um, the colors are kind of bland and blah. Again, mostly satins. There is a matte here and a matte here for, and a matte here. You can do your basic eye here, but there's not a whole lot of creativity with the other shades. But I thought it was a very nice palette. It's a good basic palette. And um, Your Best Friend is um, a very nice brand for $6.99. And they're quite prominent. I've seen them in uh, three or four different TJ Maxx's because I go to different ones. If I see something I like, I go to another one to see if they have it there too. And Rock the Croc is around there. So I would recommend this one. This is really nice. And I think they're on HSN or you know QVC, one of them. Neutrogena teamed up with Kerry Washington. And she's a, an actress on a, a TV series. And um, this is the Essential Eye Palette with Kerry Washington. And, and uh, it's an unusual step for Neutrogena to do this. And I was really looking forward to it. But I was so disappointed in this. This just did not do it for me at all. And, and the, it's not because of the colors. It's the quality wasn't there. They were shimmery. I couldn't make a good basic eye with this, and it was just blah. It just fell short, and I'm so disappointed because I like Kerry Washington, and I like Neutrogena. So this was a fail, the Neutrogena. It was powdery. It was uh, patchy. It did not last very well, and it took quite a while to get everything in position, you know, in my eye to make a nice uh, eye. So I'm, I'm just confused by this. Why? Um, since they had the opportunity to do something really nice that they did this. And I think the only thing nice about it is the packaging. Um, I've been enjoying this uh, little mini. It's the City Mini Palette from Maybelline. And um, I'm not a fan normally of their eyeshadows. I don't like their eyeshadows at all. But I do like their, these, these particular series. I think they're a different formulation than their regular. There's no mirror included, but this is a great... Uh, on-the-go palette for kind of a purpley look. Um, this is actually a really nice uh, crease shade. And then you've got your dark corners, so you've got this nice light for the lid. So you've got your basic eye, and then you've got a silver, a bronze, and a gold uh, shimmer 
that you can work with as well. I think this is a very well thought out uh, palette and the quality is really good. And it is, you know, Maybelline, I think this one runs probably around um, $10. So I think that's a really nice little palette. And for CoverGirl, this is their old, <laughs> their old font before they repackaged to the boring stuff. Um, this is CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. And again, this is, you know, your basic colors. Uh, um, this is your basic colors, you know, your light for the lid. Um, this, is, this is a flat color, a matte color. This is matte and this is matte and this is matte. So you can make your basic light on the lid, uh, medium on the crease and dark in the corners. You can do that very easily and then you have these two kind of really shimmery shades in the beige and uh, champagne colors. I really like this pinky one. This is really pretty. Um, and then you've got kind of a shimmery brown color as well which I like from lining under the eye. So this is actually quite a nice little palette if you're on a real strict budget. The uh, CoverGirl True Naked Nudes, uh, this worked really well. So I'm trying to uh, show people more um, things from the drugstore because it's getting out of hand now. You know, the business model for a successful business is to release a new product every four months or basically every season. <laughs> And they are, and it's really hard to keep up. It can be very overwhelming. Um, so, you know, you really just need some basics and then you can add a fun color here and there. But I think a good basic palette is something you should have in your collection. This is the Good Housekeeping Mascara of the Year. And it is the CoverGirl Bland Branding CoverGirl is this the best super mascara. They, they love it. And I had been using Clunk Crusher, which is the green one, and I thought, well, what's the difference? And I tried two different days in a row. I had this on this side, this on this side, and there's very little difference in the formulations, but the wands, the brushes, are very different in these two, and I actually now prefer uh, this one. I think it is better than the Clunk Crusher. So this is the Lash, 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 Lash Blast Volume, <laughs> say it three times fast, um, really good from CoverGirl. And even in hot, humid weather, it does not leave little dings because, you know, I'm always, when you're blinking your eyes and you've got mascara on and they're hitting your hooded eye, there's a good chance that you would get little dings up here um, of mascara that's melting. But this works really well. It did not um, at all. And ironically, they came out with another one, which some people said they loved, and I don't like it. This is the Peacock Flare Mascara, and it's the same, see the bland <laughs> branding? Um, I didn't like this, so I don't understand why they keep coming up. Why do they have 12 mascaras? I mean, why? It's easy to come off. I like this because it's easy to take it off, but it does not smear or smudge or flake during the day. So this is a great, probably for drugstore, this is one of the best drugstore mascaras. So the Lash Blast beats them out. This was a fail. Going real cheap with the uh, drugstore, I like this one too. I think this worked really nicely. It's the only LA Girl mascara I like. I've never liked any of their mascaras in the past. This one's the Flashy Mascara, and it's, um, it, again, it, it's a very thin wand with a brush. It's flat on one side. You see how it's flat? And then you turn it and you've got the brushes, so you can really get in there and make big lashes with it. And I like that a lot about it. I think it's good because you can, you know, get into the lower lashes. So if you're really on a budget, I think this is like $3 for this. You can get it on the LA Girl website. You can find LA Girl in uh, Kmart. In, um, there's a few other places that carry it as well, but this is the flashy mascara. Don't make the mistake and get any of the others because they suck. They're terrible. This is the only one I liked, and that's the Flashy Mascara. I'm loving this. This is from CVS, their 360 Marant. This is a kind of a duochrome color. It goes from orange to pink. 
It is the Perfect Summer Nail Polish, and the color is called, called Sunset. And I think that's a beautiful name for a beautiful polish. You can't, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You can see it. But you, you just move your hand and it goes completely the other color. It's just so pretty. It's, it's my favorite nail polish. And um, also, when I was in Family Dollar, they do have the color Last from um, LA Colors. And I had first seen this on uh, Little Poets channel, Susan. She's, she loved this and it lasts really well and that's what I've got on my nails right now. This particular color is called Soulmate. And this is a pretty kind of a pink color. I am wearing it, so, yep. And I've had mine on about a week. I have had some chips, but I do a lot of filing. And, you know, I use my nails like a Swiss Army knife sometimes. So I'm very hard on my nails. And it's it's staying pretty well. I have a couple bad fingers, but... So that was the, the last. Also from LA Colors, I did get the Drama Lash, and I cut it in half. I'm wearing it today, one half on one side and one half on the other. This is what it looks like as a whole lash. This was a dollar, and I really like it. It's, it works out really well. I like cutting the lashes in half. Butter London, um, I got this in the um, sale clearance rack at Kohl's Smitten. It's a very pretty pink. Let me just see if I can. Smitten. It's kind of a neutral kind of pink color. And it's nice. Not bad. It's got the magnetic. It's hard to demonstrate this. There you go. <laughs> So that's from Butter London, and I like the quality of their lipsticks a lot. Now back to mascara. I found this is like a holy grail mascara, and it was such a surprise because it was a perk thing. You know, when you use, like in Sephora, you use 100 points. It's the Milk Makeup um, Kush Mascara. Absolutely fabulous. Oh my gosh. Is this the Pot Max Mascara? Oh, that Kush, I'm like, we used to say that word in the 70s. Okay, you cannabis, cannabis oil nourishes and conditions for healthier looking lashes in one hit. <laughs> Aren't they clever? Oh my goodness. And it is. It's my favorite mascara right now. It does not um, smear. It does not flake. It gives you big old honking lashes. Does this mean I'm getting, my eyelashes are getting high? <laughs> It's a big brush. It works so well. I mean, I was going to get the uh, full size of this. I think it's fabulous. It's probably one of the best high-end mascaras I've tried. Oh my goodness. Cannabis oil. Who would have guessed that? You know, and I was under a rock when everybody else was talking about this particular. They released a whole line of cosmetics with this cannabis oil in it. and. Um, I don't think that's the part of the uh, plant that you can get high from. So, um, good for them. Good for them. Um, and they make flags out of hemp. So, you know, they made the original American flag out of hemp. I'll just have to remind you that. Anyway, Kush Mascara. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, this is the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Gloss. Okay, it is glossy, it's not sticky, it doesn't transfer that much, and you do feel the heat, so you do get a little bit of plumping with it, but um, not enough that I would say it's better than the um, Soap and Glory one, but you do get a little bit of plumping and you do get a little bit of color, so uh, that is from Revlon, and I like Revlon um, lipsticks and lip products a lot. I think they... They excel in the drugstore in that particular area. This is the um, Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil. I didn't like this at all. This was awful. There's that branding again. <laughs> it just looks like, yeah, plain wrap. 
Yeah, this is the, the color, but it doesn't stay that color on your lips. It just dissipates to nothing. There's a little bit of a tint and it looks patchy on. It's got a very strong scent. This one, very libation. So this is berry flavor and it does have a strong, I would say a raspberry kind of um, scent to it. And I, I don't know why, I just didn't like this. It didn't work for me very well. It wasn't glossy enough to be a gloss. It wasn't um, tinty enough to be a lipstick. And it, it was moisturizing, but it looked patchy on. For some reason, it didn't seem to react well. So anyway, so if you made it this far, um, I do have a secret giveaway in this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw three names next week, and I will announce them in our own video. Um, I'm going to give away three Sephora gift certificates for, and um, because I am so pleased, I am so happy. You do have to be a subscriber of mine and you do have to comment below um, and you have to somewhere or other put the word cargo in your, in your comments. So put the word cargo somewhere in your comments and I will um, enter you in the drawing. So um, I'd like to keep it a secret from regular people because if you're not watching the video, I don't want you to win. <laughs> and it's not mean or anything. It's just like this is my reward to you for watching the video and for being subscribed to me because I appreciate you and I think that you know you're spending your time watching me I'm just happy you're here and I really appreciate your time so I'm gonna do the drawing next Saturday and uh, again just put the word cargo into the comment that you give and I don't care if you use it in context of a sentence or not you can say other stuff and then just put the word cargo um, everybody who's done that I will enter into the drawing and again three names will be picked and you'll each get a Sephora gift certificate so um, that being said I hope everybody's having a wonderful week have a beautiful day take care toodles <laughs>